Good morning, our viewers, this wonderful day that the Lord has made for us. I want to welcome you to this wonderful program, Command Your Morning. This is the day that the Lord has made that we should rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Reverend Peter Chengo, coming to you from Faith Life Evangelistic Church in Machakos Town. As you enter Machakos Town, you take the turn to Kangundo after Ruby's petrol station. Right after the, 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 on that road, about 200 meters, you will find our church on the left side. We are situated there, and it is our joy to have you this morning viewing this wonderful program as we share and fellowship together in the Word of God. I want us today to look at the topic, faith for the adventure, faith for the adventure of life. Faith, you require faith to adventure in life. As you start today, as you go out for your business, as you go out to your workplace, you need faith. You need faith. And allow me to invite you to the word of God in the book of the gospel of Mark, chapter number 4, verse number 35. The gospel of Mark, chapter number 4, verse number 35. The Bible says in the gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verse number 35, the Bible says on the same day, on the same day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us cross over to the other side. Now when they had left the multitude, they took, they took him along in the boat as he was. And other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling. Verse 38. But he was in the stern, asleep on a pillow, and they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Verse 39. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Verse 40, but he said to them, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said to one another, who can this be that even the wind and the sea obey him? This morning, as we look forward to a great day today, I want to tell you, that faith is critical for the voyage of life. Faith is great. It is it's a must as you adventure in life. You need faith, my sister. As you step out to your business, I pray that you will step out by faith. As you go to your office, may you go today by faith. You could be watching us in an hospital. You could be watching us somewhere. But I want to challenge you to lift up your faith and to believe God. Why? Life is an adventure, a trip, and a voyage. It is a passage. And in the adventure of life, in the trip of life, you need faith. Faith is needed for the adventure and the trip of life. As you go out, you need faith. As you go to your workplace, you need faith. As you prepare for your journey today, you need faith. Whatever that you do, the Bible says it is impossible to please God without faith. And I'm praying for you, my sister. I'm praying for you, my brother. In whatever you are going to do today, may you do it by faith. Because it is by faith that we are guaranteed success. The story that we've read, the Bible says when evening had come, the disciples of Jesus, they were with a large multitude. And when the multitude, had, uh, when the evening come, the Bible says, in verse number 35, Jesus said to them, let us cross over 
to the other side. They left the multitude. They left the multitude on the other side by the word of God. And as you step out, may I declare the word of God. May you go by the word of God. May you go by faith. May you go believing in the Lord. May your journey be a success today. May your business be a success today. I am challenging you, my brother. I'm challenging you, my sister, to lift up your faith in God, to trust in the Lord. May in the name of Jesus Christ, life, faith is needed in everything that you do. Everything that you do in life, whatever you plan to do, Employ the spirit of faith in all your errands, in all your plans, add faith to it. Why is faith necessary? In this life, in the adventure of life, when they were stepping out, Jesus had spoken words to them. Let us go to the other side. The Bible says as they were going, as they were journeying, as they were sailing, the Bible says there was a heavy storm. In the life that we live, storms will come. In the lives that we live, we will encounter different issues. We will encounter different challenges. We will encounter different types of storm. The Bible says, a great storm arose and the waves were beating into the boat so that it was already filling. You know, as you journey in this journey of life, the storms of life rise. So many waves beat around us. So you need faith. And I want to ask, why is faith necessary in the journey of life? Why is faith necessary? Number one, faith is necessary to tackle the uncertainties. To tackle the uncertainties and the unforeseeable challenges of life. If you will be able to manage every circumstance, every challenge, every wave that beats in this journey, you need faith. Faith is necessary to tackle the challenges of life. Faith is necessary to tackle the uncertainties of this life. When they were stepping out, they did not know that there would come a storm. When they were beginning to sail, they, were, they did not know what was on their way. The Bible says a wind, a windstorm, a great windstorm began to rise and it was beating. The waves were beating. Could I be talking to you, my brother, this morning? And there are things beating around you. In your marriages, there are things beating around. In your family, there are things beating around. In your business, in your organization, there are things beating around. You need faith to overcome. Lift your faith. Put your faith in God. Put your confidence and your trust in God. And I, I guarantee you, you will be able to overcome. The Bible says the disciples were worried. The disciples were, they were afraid. And the Bible says Jesus was sleeping down there. They arose and they went to him. They said, teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Why are you sleeping while we are going through this? Verse number 39, the Bible says, then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Verse number 40, the Bible says, But he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Listen, my brother and my sister. Faith and fear do not coexist. As you step out, don't step out in fear. As you step out, don't step out in anxiety. As you step out, don't step out with worry. Step out by faith. Go to that business today open by faith. As you go for that appointment, as you go for that interview, go by faith. As you go for that meeting, go by faith. Because faith is necessary to tackle the uncertainties and the unforeseeable challenges of life. Number two, faith is necessary to enter the extreme wickedness and godlessness of this world. In this world, there are wicked things that come around us. In this world, they are, they are extreme challenges. But when you are a man and a woman of faith, victory is guaranteed. Success is guaranteed.
First P John. John, first John chapter 5, verse number 19. First John chapter 5, verse number 19. We know that we are of God, and the old world lies under the sway of the wicked one. In this world, the wicked one lies in this world. But we that are of God, we that are born of faith, we do not fear the challenges. We do not fear the wickedness of this world. We are guaranteed to our victory. In Christ we have overcome. In Christ we have conquered. In Christ we have success. Number three, why is faith necessary? As you go out today, faith is necessary because it takes faith to take full delivery of God-ordained inheritance. There is an inheritance God has ordained for you today. As you go to your office, go excited, go expecting. There is something that God has prepared for you in that trip. There is something that God has prepared for you in that journey, in that meeting, in that business. Go with an expectation. If you will take what God has prepared and ordained for you, you need faith. When you read in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse number 8 and 9. Hebrews, chapter 8, 11, verse number 8. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance. Could I declare today, as you go out, you're going for your inheritance. Could I declare today, as you go to that business, may you find your inheritance. The Bible says Abraham obeyed when he was called out to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance. And he went out, not knowing where he was going. Could you be stepping out of your house today and you are not even sure where you are going? You are not even sure how things will be. Go by faith. The Bible says in verse number 9, By faith he dwelt in the land of promise, as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, and heirs with him of the same promise. I release the grace of God upon your life. As you go out, go out and receive your inheritance. But you need to go by faith. You need to go believing God. You need to go trusting God. Don't go worried. Don't go fearful. Don't go uh, 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 anxious. Go by faith. I pray for you. May you go full of faith. May you go full of expectation. May you go confident that the God who has allowed you to see this day, to wake up this morning, to look this morning, to See this day that God has a plan for you. He says in the book of Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans that I have towards you. They are plans to prosper you. They are plans to give you hope. Listen to me. The Lord wants to prosper you. The Lord has good thoughts over your life. Don't go out fearful. Go out full of faith. Go out trusting in the Lord. Go out full of confidence. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that your day will be full of success. Your day will have a testimony. Your day will have a nice story to tell. So go out in the adventure of life with faith. And victory is guaranteed. But listen to me, my brother and my sister. Before I close, it all starts by accepting the Lord Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. If you are not given your life to Jesus, this is not practical. So I can pray with you. I don't know where you're watching me, but just make this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you this morning for the opportunity to see this day. Thank you for your word. With my heart I believe and with my mouth I confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and the Savior of my life. From today I'm born again. My sins are forgiven. I'm a child of God. May the Lord prosper you. If you're watching me and you're sick in your body, may the Lord heal you. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord prosper you. Receive strength. Receive faith for the day. Receive faith to receive your inheritance that God has kept for you. Thank you for tuning in in this Command Your Morning program. My name is Reverend Peter Chengo, coming to you from Faith Life Evangelistic Church, 
in Machakos town. As you enter Machakos town, along Kangundo Road from the junction, 200 meters, on the left, you will find Faith Life. Welcome. You are welcome. Our, my number is 0724376560. 0733-5857-99. You can call and I can pray with you. You can call and I, we can believe God together. God bless you so much for tuning in this morning. May the Lord bless the work of your hands as you go out. May the Lord prosper you. Shalom and shalom. See you tomorrow. Same time. God bless you.